Setting it in the 90s was a very deliberate choice, and it wasn't originally. Originally, it was contemporary. What stories could not be told in a show today that were specific to that time and place? You know, stories that wouldn't make sense if you told them today. The fact that the show is set in the 90s is one of my favorite aspects of it. I love the 90s. I, I was a baby in the 90s and I feel robbed. I should have been a teenager. The most superficial reason was that I grew up in the 90s and it would have more resonance for me personally. Um, and I really like the music and it would give me a great excuse to have a 90s soundtrack. The music was tight. I mean, everything was fun, but it was the 90s. I love their jeans and everything that they wear and the music. And I just, I was like, mom, I want, I want to go back in the past. I love the music. I love the fashion. I love just the, the beat of everything that was happening. It's a time of angst, which is very much the key word here. Um, and I know angst nowadays is more of a kind of kitschy term, but it's a serious issue and I think it was more highlighted back then, um, you know, the real pain of what was going on. Now 2016 is, uh, it's been like a really accepting period lately and uh, from, uh, from what I know, uh, the 90s aren't the same as today, so it'll be interesting to see like the stark differences that two decades make. I lived in the 90s. It was a good time. I love how like uh, most of the kids were like not even bored in the 90s or like barely remember it. Somebody said before like what was uh, Matthew McConaughey's first movie and they were like, I think Sahara. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I just feel so old. While the primary focus of the show is going to be the characters and their relationships, and all that stuff. There will be this ongoing arc in the background of um, this sort of political undercurrent that over the course of the show would, uh, would show how society, through the actions of the children, is evolving um, because the youth is changing and the culture changes. The 90s was so recent that only now can we really do a timepiece in the 90s. Not everyone had a cell phone, certainly not every kid. Um, you know, there, were, there weren't all these social networking things, there, was a, there weren't all these things that are, that, that the absence of which is what creates story. You know, this is a time before the internet. There was, there, the best you had was maybe a chat room, and even then you ran the risk of getting perved on by some 40 year old, and it was just, you know, there wasn't really a, a gay community of, this, of, of kids. It was around when you started to have gay straight alliances. You started to have these kids coming out of the woodwork and socializing with each other and, and sort of becoming their own demographic. I feel like it's something that I've never seen before. Um, it takes me to a place I've never been before, so I just feel like it's a great idea and a very cool concept. So excited for True Colors. Thank you so much for checking out this page. Um, we're trying to get started with this whole thing, so if you can donate, that'd be awesome. If you can't, you can please just share this, um, our videos, our page, or post anything with your friends, your family, your Facebook friends, your Facebook stalker friends, anybody. Just um, just help us, you know, get the word out. Um, but if you can donate, that's always great because you can get things. You can like get prizes. You can, um, you know, get a DVD of it. You can um, even have your name show up. Project, so which would be awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, come yeah. visit us on set. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, if you can go ahead and donate, that'd be amazing. If not, just go ahead and share. Thank you. Thank you.